Hello, Simon Searchlight community. My name is Dr. Leanne Green Snyder, and I'm a licensed clinical psychologist and clinical research scientist working on protocol management, data collection, and data sharing for the Simon Searchlight Project. And I'm very happy to be with you today to talk a little bit about how to read our latest Vineland developmental growth charts that we will be sharing in our reports with the community. So we're showing today data that reflects measures of developmental skills using a validated standardized measure called the Vineland Adaptive Behavior Scales. The Vineland taps into areas that you, the families and patient advocacy group leaders and researchers have identified as extremely important to characterize your condition's natural history and to lay the groundwork for possible future clinical trials and what and how to measure. It's also what research, researchers consider critical to their studies. These areas are communication, level of independence, social development, and motor skills. The Vineland is the most commonly used measure of development as seen every day by the expert, and that's you, the parent. It's used in identification and certification of developmental disabilities and appropriate services. It is a recommended patient-centered outcome measure that is accepted by the FDA for trials. We have now collected over a thousand new Vineland assessments from our participants in Searchlight, and thank you. So you asked us, what does development look like and what do individuals look like as they get older in our condition? And so we have taken this data and we have constructed a developmental growth chart. So it's very similar to plotting height over age in a lot of individuals to see what's typical. So we can plot everyone together to see what individuals with your condition are commonly able to do at younger ages and then at older ages. So I'm going to share that with you now and show you how to read the chart. So here is a developmental growth chart based on the Vineland. Similar to plotting height, over age in a lot of children to see what's typical, we can plot developmental levels. So we can plot everyone together to see what are individuals with your condition commonly able to do at younger ages, and then what are they able to do at older ages? So here's how to read this chart. This is just a sample with sample data. If you look along the bottom here, you'll see the ages that go from zero years to 18 plus years. This is the actual age at the time they were measured with the Vineland based on your parent report. Now, if you look along the scale at the left from zero years up to 18 years, that is the level the individual is actually functioning at. And here zero refers to infancy, refers to an age level of one to 11 months, and typically individuals are just learning skills at that level. So now here we see each blue dot is a person, and it's an actual person in searchlight. This, for example, is a four-year-old. You can see if we look down here on the bottom scale, the actual age at the time of assessment was four years. So this is a four-year-old. What is their level of developmental communication? They are, if we look across, at the three-year-old level. So this dot represents a four-year-old child who is at the three-year-old level of communication, very likely. So also what we've done here is use a yellow dotted line, and you'll see in every graph we're going to report to you what is a typical developmental milestone for that developmental age level. And so here we've just shown as an example how the line would look at the two-year-old level and what two-year-olds would typically be working on or individuals at the two-year-old level, they might be working on putting words together to use speech. Now you can see for this group, the way you can read this is that all of the individuals plotted here for this sample group are very likely using speech for communication. They all fall above this yellow dotted line. Next, we also show a solid yellow trend line. And the trend line shows for the group 
how much skills are gaining or going up as children are getting older. So you can see here, it kind of draws a line right in between all of the individuals that are plotted. And it shows that children go from um, younger age and lower level of skills to older ages and a higher level of skill. Then for comparison, we also plotted a blue dotted line, which is the trend line for neurotypical development. Finally, down here, we give some helpful hints and we report how many individuals in this group are likely to be doing particular skills once they are four years of age or older. And we selected four because children are starting to enter school at that point. And it can give you an idea of how many have been able to reach a particular milestone. So this is our developmental growth chart. We hope that this overview helps you to understand how to read the Vineland growth chart in your report. Please reach out to the Simon Searchlight team if you have any questions. And if you haven't completed your surveys already, please visit your Simon Searchlight dashboard today. Thank you for being part of the Simon Searchlight community.